Hi friends! Today I am making a video for my wellness topics series. Probably going to be doing a lot more of these. Today's video is about my TMS story. And if you're not familiar with TMS, TMS is a term from Dr. John Sarno and it's meant a couple different things over the years. Uh, tension myositis syndrome, I think was the first term he used. Then it became tension myoneural syndrome and can even bro more broadly just be used as the mind-body syndrome. And I like that term the best. That's the term that I will probably use when I talk to people about this in my practice and I talk about mind-body healing in general. So anyways, the way this manifested with me, <laughs> the way this topic hit me over the head, like a ton of bricks, as Oprah says, when God whispers, the universe whispers, whatever, if you don't listen, don't get the message, then there is a little shout and a little nudge and then on and on until you get a whole wall of bricks that falls down on you until you get the message. I think that's what the universe was doing with me here. <laughs> so TMS has to do with pain, pain in the body. For a lot of people it manifests as back pain and neck pain, neck and shoulder pain a lot in women. I see this in my massage clients. Uh, women tend to hint hold all their stress in their neck and shoulders. A lot of men do too. Uh, also see a lot of back things, low back things in men and women. Um, but for me, what happened was, this is my big TMS story, my light bulb moment that happened recently, very recently. I graduated from massage school June 7th of this year, 2018 went on vacation last weekend of June while I was waiting for the whole licensing process. While I was on that vacation, I became licensed. When I came back from vacation, I already had two jobs lined up, working at Inside Out Gym here in Midtown Memphis and working at Art Body Soul out in East Memphis. For those of you who are local to my channel, uh, if you want any information on my massage, my healing touch, my healing touch for animals work, I will put a link to my website down below. It talks about the type of work that I do in my new career in massage and healing work. It's just jennifer-parsley.com, but I'll put that link in the description below. Uh, because it is relevant to uh, this topic, mind-body, I plan to really incorporate this into my work here in Memphis into the sessions that I do with people and I truly believe that this information this message was given to me for a reason and it was to use in my work so I graduated went on vacation came back went to work did some massages uh, did had my first full week of work as a licensed massage therapist, that Friday, so it wasn't even a full week of work, that Friday, I was shaving my legs in the shower. This is how it happens when you throw your back out. This is how these low back things tend to happen with people. I've had this happen to me before in my life. Shoveling snow, and then like the next day, you kind of lean over weird, whatever. I'm sure those of you who have had this type of pain those of you who are interested in this topic, back pain, neck pain, TMS, you know what I'm talking about when you throw your low back up. So I was just shaving my legs in the shower so you're in an awkward position reaching down there and I felt a tweak, like a uh, tweak in my low back, like, oh, oh, that hurts, you know, I'm like 46 years old now, you're like, oh, you know, tweak my low back, I better, better be careful with that. Um, so I had a hair appointment that day and I walked, it's probably, I don't know, half mile, three quarters of a mile from my house. I went down to Empire to get my hair done. Um, 
And I walked, you know, flip-flops on the concrete, and I thought, oh, this might not be good. I just tweaked my bag, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real careful, real delicate. Sat through the whole hair appointment. It was like a few hours. We did color and all that. And then I walked all the way home. Well, I even walked to the to juice bar, got myself a smoothie because it was super hot. It was nice to have a smoothie. And I could feel my low back seizing up, tensing up like what almost like takes your breath away kind of pain you know what i'm talking about um so i walked home again probably not the best idea and um by the time i got home it was so painful i just had to crawl in bed lie flat in bed the rest of the day and it it was bad. My husband came home. I told him I threw my low back out. He had to help with dinner that night or may have even had to make me dinner because I was barely moving at this point, just in really bad back pain. And I had a client the next morning for healing some of my healing touch for animals work. I love doing the healing touch for animals work. I love working on the animals. I had this appointment to work on an older dog here in Midtown. And I was so looking forward to it. You know, I'm just starting to do this work. And I was like, I don't know. My husband's like, how are you going to do that? How are you going to go, you know, have a client Saturday morning? And I'm like, I don't know, but I booked the client. I'm just going to hope for the best, right? So I stayed in bed, took it easy. Friday night, didn't go out, do anything. And I was like, I hope I sleep well and can get up, you know, and do my appointment in the morning. And it hurt so bad. I'm what this is called a transitional sleeper. So I lie on my back, turn to my right, back, turn to my left. I'm about, you know, I kind of do that until I fall asleep or if I wake up in the middle of the night, I do that almost toss and turning. Uh, those three positions. That was the most excruciating painful thing was to turn from flat on my back to turn on my side you know pretty b benign movement but I could hardly move and I can't remember I think I, oh I put essential oils I was using this deep blue um, doTERRA essential oil which is meant for pain I may have even taken a dose of Advil so that I could sleep it kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse Anyways, try not to drag this on too long. The next morning, I got up pretty early to go to the bathroom because I hadn't gotten up at all in the middle of the night. I'm at an age where usually I get up in the middle of the night <laughs> to go pee. Hadn't done that all night. So it's Saturday morning and it's like just before 8 o'clock, quarter to 8. I'm trying not to wake up my husband. I'm barely getting myself out of the bed, gingerly putting my feet down, like, how's this going to feel? And, like, trying to use those lower back muscles to stand up from the bed. I was, like, I was getting nauseous from the pain. I didn't know if I could even step and walk on my own. And then I was, like, okay, took a few deep breaths. Like, got to get to the bathroom. Got to the bathroom. You know, I had my morning pee. I'm just open and sharing with y'all here. <laughs> had my morning pee. Um, and it hurt. I mean, it was excruciating pain. It had not gotten better from a night lying flat. Excruciating pain. I stand up, try to, and I had, luckily, we have a small little bathroom. So the distance from, like, where I'm sitting on the toilet to the sink I could actually grab onto the sink, pull myself up, that trying to stand up to the sink, I got the nausea again, I started seeing big patches of black in stars, and I started blacking out. I started blacking out from the pain. I've never had this before, and I've thrown my back out a few times, like occasionally over the years. I start blacking out from the pain. I don't know what to do. I'm like crying, I'm nauseous, I'm passing out. I collapse to the bathroom floor, and I'm 
like yelling out in pain and like crying. And so my husband, you know, my husband wakes up, <laughs> comes to the bathroom. What is going on? And I'm like, I almost passed out. And then as I'm like there crying on the floor in pain, and here's another probably too much information, but I'm going to share it in case this has happened to anybody else. I lost control of my bladder. I Luckily, I had gone to the bathroom, but then there was obviously a little bit more urine there. I lost, there is no way. Like I basically, I was like, I'm peeing, I'm peeing. And then I had like this small pool of my own urine that I am passed out, like not passed out, collapsed into and then lost control of my bladder and I'm there with my urine and I can't move. Scary, scary, scary stuff. When you look that up online, when you look up losing control of your bladder, uh, you know, they tell you to go to the emergency room immediately. And it's called cauda equina syndrome. The Western Medical Establishment will call it cauda equina syndrome. And they want to do surgery on you within 48 hours if you lose control of your bladder from back pain. And I even said to my husband that morning, I said, I am this close to going to the emergency room. I was like, if I can't get up, if I can't, I was just, in, <laughs> I kept lying there on the bathroom floor because it felt a little bit good to be on a cold floor, even though no position felt good. And there was no way I could lift up on my own from that position. But I said, if I can't get up, get myself cleaned up, get to bed, we're going to have to call an ambulance or we're going to have to take me to the emergency room. So my husband helped me up. I couldn't use my back muscles to get myself up at all. I was able to get cleaned up, get in bed. And obviously I had to call and cancel my animal Healing Touch for Animals client that morning. Uh, and I took Advil, um, I, you know, anti-inflammatories, all the things that you're told about back pain. I did all that. And just stayed in bed. You know, I can't, I called the gym and said, I can't take any clients. I had to move around massage clients. And I gave myself, I think, pretty much that whole week. The next time I had a client was uh, the following Friday. And, oh my goodness. I, so this is where I was led to TMS. I hope you're still listening. Anyone who's had this type of pain, I'm sure you follow my story and you're listening. Um, it's hard to tell it in a little three-minute snippet. So that was the episode that got my attention you can bet it got my attention that type of pain gets your attention luckily this isn't a chronic thing for me it just kind of came out of the blue so as I am rubbing essential oil on myself going to the chiropractor uh, you know, got myself to the chiropractor on the Monday because I was able to drive. I didn't know if I'd be able to drive myself, but I was. And it was with taking um, pain, anti-inflammatory medication, taking the essential oil, got myself to the chiropractor. And she's, she said to me, yeah, when you lose control of your bladder, that's when you go to the emergency room. She was shocked that I didn't go to the emergency room. And she adjusted me that day, did the TENS unit, the electrical stimulation on my low back, and said, you need to come back the next day. Almost wanted me to come back later that day. Went back the next day, and I, you know, I just started going through all these severe back pain things. Still thinking, am I going to end up in the hospital or something like that? And then you're in bed, you got nothing else to do, you can barely move to get up to the bathroom. So I'm on the internet, I'm researching things. And I came across Dr. John Sarno and Healing Back Pain. This book, this little $10 paperback book. And the information blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. I'm going to put the link for this book down below. If you're going through this and if you resonate with anything that I tell you in this video, 
for $10, go order this book, read it, and that could cure your pain, just reading the book. I know it sounds crazy, but a lot of people who have read this book uh, have cured their neck pain, their back pain, uh, read any of his books, uh, just by reading the book, they start feeling better. This is actually the one, this one was back, <laughs> this one was back ordered on Amazon when I first found all of this information and people were telling me, order this little $10 book, read it, and some of your back pain can be gone. And I'm totally all about alternative things. And for me, it was like, no brainer. For $10, I'll try it. I would, you know, rather do that than get sucked into the Western medical establishment. That's where I'm at as far as health things. I love alternative ideas. If I can try something like that for $10, yes, absolutely. Well, that book was back ordered on Amazon. I was desperate, so I ordered this one. It's called The Mind Body Prescription by Dr. John Sarno. And I think this one was a little bit is a little bit newer than his uh, original healing back pain that's helped so many people. Uh, so this is actually the first book that I read all about it. This one's very good, a little bit more recent. I'll put the link for all of these uh, resources for you down below. Um, so this one actually has a lot of information about related um, things, syndromes that can, equivalence, TMS equivalence. So by this time, he'd seen so many patients and so many manifestations of pain that were linked to the mind. We're getting into a mind-body solution here. Um, there's a whole section on equivalence in here. So it's not just back pain, neck pain. It gets into gastrointestinal things, uh, Crohn's and um, uh, autoimmune things, tendinitis things. You would not believe. It's like almost everything that people suffer from chronically is coming from your mind, is coming from your emotions. So to kind of finish up and show you what I mean by that, so I read this book. By the time I finished reading the book, 75% of my pain was gone. I called the gym and said, I can do a massage. I have no problem doing massage. One of the big ways to treat yourself with this is to be active. Go out and do everything you think you couldn't do because you had the neck pain or because you had the throughout your low back, you had the low back pain, you had the plantar fasciitis, you've got the, you know, one of the main things is get out there and be active, the more active the better, but not by doing, you know, back exercises or anything. Get your mind off what you think it is. And so basically what Dr. Sarno says is that it's repressed emotions mainly repressed anxiety and repressed anger. And then your mind sends signals to your body and it shuts off blood flow, slows down blood flow to certain parts of your body, can even impact your immune system, things like that. But in my case, this low back incident, uh, a lot of repressed emotions, and then my mind is getting my attention on my body. So I don't have to deal with those emotions. I'm also going to link you to an excellent YouTube series uh, from a counselor named Nicole Sachs. I'm going to put a link to her channel down below. She has a whole series of videos on what is this? Could this be me? How do I treat this? And she has some good uh, advice on journaling and kind of working through those emotions to help with your pain. But for so many people, just reading one of these books or um, going to a site, there's a, uh, it's called tmswiki.org. I'll link that below as well. Uh, just learning about this, just thinking about it. Oh my goodness, my mind is trying to keep all of my focus, all of my attention on pain and on my body so I won't deal with all of the anxiety and all of the anger that I'm generating. Just stay focused on the body, run to the doctor, go get the pills, go to the chiropractor. You know, this is, 
what's going on, what I truly believe is going on here. It worked for me. I mean, within the course of a couple days, I went from collapsed on my bathroom floor in a pool of my own urine to going scheduling myself for workouts at my gym, doing massage sessions at my gym, and being completely healthy, physically active with no fear, with no fear of hurting my low back, with no fear of hurting my neck, with no fear of repetitive strain energy injuries they train us in massage school all about oh you better be careful with your thumbs be careful with your wrists be careful with carpal tunnel syndrome and and uh, uh, epicondylitis and tennis elbow and golfers elbow and you know all these things that you're gonna get because you're a massage therapist and you use your body and you use your muscles and you use your tendons to work on people as a physical job Yes, it's a physical job. The coolest thing is I have no fear of repetitive strain. None. It's all explained. It's all explained in mind-body syndrome, TMS. And I think I'm going to do a separate video for anyone interested, massage therapists who are trained in this or anybody who's concerned about the repetitive strain. I'll do a separate video on that. So I'm just going to talk about the back pain and then I've had neck and shoulder pain my whole life. I had rotator cuff surgery. Can you, yeah, there you go. You can see my scar. Had rotator cuff surgery. That's talked about by Dr. Sarno. TMS. Now I also had a big uh, tear from volleyball, but that's a different story. But I used to worry about, am I going to re-injure my shoulder? I'm not worried about any of it now. This information is so good. Once you understand the mechanism, understand that these pain points in your body and they move around. If you have pain that moves around, like it was in your shoulder and now it's your low back and oh my gosh, my knee hurts and oh my goodness, I have plantar fasciitis now. That is a classic, classic, classic symptom of this TMS. And it's your mind distracting you from emotions that need to be processed, need to be, and you don't, and it, oh, here's the key thing. It pertains to certain personality types. So <laughs> Dr. Sarno calls them goodists. So if you're a people pleaser, if you're a high achieving person, if you are highly critical of yourself, you set the bar super high for yourself, high achieving, trying to be good, trying to be everything to everyone. That's my personality. That is my personality to a T. So one of the last things I want to show you, oh, another great book. And that this was the second book I read. The Great Pain Deception by Stephen Ray Ozanich. He's got a good uh, YouTube channel as well with some success stories like mine, what I'm telling here. This guy, this guy's story, his book is more detailed. Like if you read one of these and you're, you're kind of wanting more information, a lot of people say they want more information after reading a Dr. Sarno book, then that's where Steve Ozanich comes in. He gives a lot more information on understanding what the root cause, understanding... Um, how your personality type plays into that, understanding all the different diagnoses, diseases, things that fall under this umbrella of this mind-body syndrome, all the different manifestations of pain and disease that are really truly traced back to repressing your emotions. And having to get emotionally healthy is the solution, not going to the doctors not taking all the medicines not continuing to go to physical therapists not you know even massage therapists like myself <laughs> but the cool thing is I think this information was brought to me divinely you could say I was brought to a crumbling heap in my bathroom basically the week I started my practice where I'm going to be where I am working with people in massage and in healing touch which is an energy-based therapy and i now know that this information was brought to me for a reason i believe in those whispers and those 
walls of brick being thrown down on you, the universe trying to give you a message, give you a message. This TMS information is so important. I've put together a handout for my clients here in Memphis. So if you come see me in Memphis and want to work on any of these things, I usually, I'm putting together my own protocol especially for people who don't know about this people are just starting with you know the more most mainstream thing i do which is a massage they just schedule a massage they want to feel better well so many of the clients i get for massage have these recurring pains and they have things i don't diagnose i'm not diagnosing i'm just sharing my experience sharing information with clients because i want my clients to get better I don't want to just make money off people because they keep hurting, their neck keeps hurting, they keep having all these knots, they keep having all this low back issues. I want to help people understand what is it and help them get better. And if they can take a look at their emotions, take a look at their personality type, the, ten the tendency to repress things, if it can help them kind of release things like it did for me. I was flat in bed in excruciating pain and then got the information and was up going to workout classes and doing my work like three days later. So if this information can help anybody, so I've got information uh, for my clients here in Memphis, which is a link to some of the similar uh, resources that I'm going to link for you on this video and a bit more detail about that whole personality type and understanding is this me am i the type of person that this could be happening where i'm not recognizing and you don't the beauty of this is you don't have to even change your personality type you don't have to go to a counselor you don't you just have to recognize what's going on and that does it for most people once they recognize oh my goodness i'm the type of person that generates a lot of anxiety and a lot of anger, but I push it down. And I don't share my emotions. And I mean, honestly, the more I understand this and the more I see, you know, people that are living in Western society in America today, the vast majority of them have this, have this mind body pain that expressing itself because we, my theory, and this is gets into my own protocol that I'm developing, is that we are living in a world and in a society where we are constantly activating the sympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system is called fight, flight, freeze, or appease. We're constantly in this fight or flight mode and stress to the max and always in, you know, under complete stress and fight or flight. We hardly ever activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is called rest, relax, restore. And people come to massage therapists or they come and get some energy work or some healing touch or even just take some deep breaths, meditate, do it on your own. But people who come for massage or energy work, they're activating the parasympathetic nervous system. They're giving themselves that hour of rest, relax, restore. Just getting onto a massage table generally uh, activates the relaxation response in people. And if you have gone for massage, you know what I'm talking about is once you get on that table, usually face down, your head's in that face cradle, You've got like a warm table, you've got quiet music, you've got time to yourself, you've got someone who is going to focus on your needs and work on you for an hour, and then you also have that element of touch. We also don't get enough human touch in the world and the society that we live in these days. And humans crave it, need it. I know I'm pretty sure you've all heard of, you know, studies done on babies who like in orphanages who die because they don't get touched. I mean, the studies were done a long time ago. I'm sure we do things different now, but there's that element of touch and the relaxation response and activating that. Well, people don't normally give that to themselves. So I think massage is great for that. Energy work is great for that. 
And doing that helps take helps break this mind body syndrome where you're just taking a little break from constantly stressing your body you're releasing some of that anxiety releasing maybe some of that repressed anger which is all repressed and you don't know what's going on so you'll read about that in the books but that's why some of my protocol is going to start with massage get into some of the energy work share with people mind body information um it's just so mind-blowing to me and so beautiful that the universe delivered it to me so i hope my story has helped you i could go on with more detail i tend to be a detail person sorry it's my engineering personality type but i think i've shared enough information with you like i said i'll i'll link to the books and the websites that are helpful down below if you are in the Memphis area, I'll put my website down below and would be happy to see you for um, mind body work, energy work, even just basic massage, kind of releasing some of that anxiety after you've learned a little bit about TMS. If you're interested, even just to talk to me, uh, to learn more, feel free to contact me. But this mind-body syndrome, I absolutely believe is real. And I believe that we can be free of so many of these pain syndromes and illnesses that is our mind trying to keep us focused on our body so that we're not processing our emotions, our anxiety, our fears, which is what we really need to do to feel better and then not have any fear of doing things. No fear of hurting my back, no fear of hurting my neck, no fear of repetitive strain. That's the space that I'm in now. I hope my story was helpful to anyone out there and feel free to contact me if you're in Memphis or even you know not in Memphis or leave a comment down below if this resonates with you and hopefully we can share even more information. And I will do a separate video on repetitive strain and I'm also gonna be putting some information out there on the other types of healing work that I do. And all this information has just come to me like right as I'm starting my practice, my new healing practice. And I'm formulating this protocol and I'm definitely going to share more of that on YouTube. So I hope this was helpful to anyone out there and I love you and have a great day and look into some of this information and help get yourself out of pain. Thank you.